Today, I want to make a video and share a story about a former client of mine. Really, it's about her family. This client was in her late 80s. She lived alone in Brooklyn and she had two grown daughters. Over the last few years, she had developed some dementia. And by the time I came into the picture, her dementia was really quite profound. Her two daughters were so concerned that mom was at home and she could hurt herself and not know what to do that they decided they needed to do something about it. Unfortunately, neither of them was in a position where they could pay for out-of-pocket care for their mom. They felt mom needed 24-hour care, and this is what happened. One daughter, who lived in Connecticut with her husband and two school-aged children, gave up her job and from Monday through Thursday night, lived in Brooklyn in her mother's apartment. She cooked her meals, she took her to the doctor, she helped her bathe. She didn't provide any medical care. She was just there to make sure that mom was safe. Her husband held down the fort at home, and on Thursday night, her sister would come and take over and stay through Sunday night when she would return to take her role as mom's caretaker. You can imagine the kind of stress that this sort of living arrangement would place on a marriage and on a family. Forget about the loss of income that her family suffered when she took time off from her job to provide this care for her mom. Now this family had one really excellent thing going for them. At some point in the past, someone had helped them prepare a great power of attorney that appointed the daughters. And this was the key to a solution for this family. What happened was the caretaker daughter joined a caregivers group. It was a support group. And she made a friend in that support group with a woman who I had been able to help her family in the past. And she shared my name and suggested that they meet with me. And initially, this daughter was really resistant. She said, I don't think you understand. My mom worked for the city her whole life. She's got social security. She's got her pension. She's got her um, you know, deferred compensation plan. She's got a 401k. My mom would never be eligible for Medicaid home care. But luckily for her, my former client said, you need to just talk to Yana. So she did call my office and make an appointment. After she called my office and made an appointment, we were able to sit down together. This was pre-COVID and had a con have a conversation. We reviewed her mom's financials and I was able to explain to her how her mother could in fact be eligible for Medicaid. If you have questions how, I have another video about that. But after I explained how her mom could be eligible and she decided to go ahead with that plan, we were able to get mom qualified for 24 hour live-in care. That means that Medicaid was paying for an aid to be with her mom for 24 hours, seven days a week. What else did that mean? That meant that this mother's daughter was able to go home to her family in Connecticut. She was able to have breakfast with her children every morning. She was able to help them with their homework at night. She was able to have an ongoing relationship with her husband. She was able to go back to work and financially contribute and support her family. And she was most, and I think this is the most important, she was able to come to her mother for visits and support and oversight of the care. And she was able to do that really without any resentment, uh, with a really a pure and joyful heart. We all think and want to always be that for our parents, but if we have to give up our entire lives to provide care, it's really difficult. When you know that there is someone whose job it is to provide that care, and you can supplement that care. You can make sure that it's good care. That 
is really going to be liberating to a caretaker child. No parent wants their child to give up their life to take care of them. I know this as a mother. I know this as someone that has worked with many seniors who are perfectly capable of explaining to me what their wishes are for their future. If you know someone who is a caregiver for an older friend or family member, someone who is exhausted and working themselves down, have them reach out to us and talk to us and see if that family member could be eligible for Medicaid-funded home care. It's not giving up, it's getting help. 